I have I lost track of my time then. So I've got a pi by three and I've got minus pi by three there. Okay. So that's that example done. I'm sorry I ran out of time. So there's an exam question. So if we do the exam question, and once again it's just practice. So we'll run for we'll do recaps in class, but it's important to see this stuff now because it can just mess with your head a little bit. So what have we got? Is this the hardest exam question done, do you think? Uh, all right, let's have a look then. So cosecant is 1 over sine. So that's going to be cosecant squared, which is 1 over cos, uh, 1 over sine squared. So I'm going to put sine squared down here. And then I'm going to take the sine squared up. Now this is an exam question, so you're expected to use bits and pieces. The sine squared, I want to change it, because the only thing I can know about is everything needs to look the same. So I'm going to change the sine squared into 1 minus cos squared. So we're kind of going back on stuff that we've used before. We might not like that idea, because it can be a little bit messy, the trick, but it's just practice. Remember when we did it last year, I said to you, if we can get all the easy stuff done right, when it gets harder, it's not that bad. It just looks more complex, but it actually isn't. So if I do poly on this now, it gives me, uh, what's it going to give me? A third. So cos theta is a third, and it's going to give me minus three. Now this has got no solutions. And the reason being is that the cos graph lies between plus and minus 1. So the way I can do that is as the modulus of cos x is less than or equal to 1. There. And that tells us that it lies between no, like plus and minus 1. Right, now then. Um, this question, so if I look at theta, if I do the inverse cos of that, that will give me... Oh no, actually it wants a value of cos theta if you look at the question. So it says find the exact value of cos theta. So if that's fine, and it's not to 90 degrees, so it's acute, so that's fine again. If that was obtuse, I'd have to change it to a minus. So we've done that whole question randomly, quite quickly. So we did some messy rearranging to change the, the cosecant squared into 1 over sine squared. And then did some rearranging, and we got a polynomial, a disguised quadratic. And then I factorised it. I had one that didn't work, which is this part here. And I had one that worked there. Now, the question wanted a value for cos theta. And I've got that. And because of a 0 to 90, it wanted it as an acute. So I've got that. So that is us done for this lesson. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.